This is Khaled from ABS. Today I'm going to explain how to design body slab system with final element software like Safe or ETAPS. Uh, first of all, I want to just give short information about our product. It's called Volumax. Volumax is type of voided slab system. And uh, uh, the main idea for voided slab system or for Volumax to just create the void inside the slab where non working concrete area to reduce the slab self weight. When you reduce the slab self weight and you reflect this in the vertical element and in foundation, you will reduce the total weight of the structure comparing with an alternative solution like a solid slab or flat slab. Not only when you use Volumax, you will reduce the slab surface. We have also engineering benefits and engineering architect benefit with Volumax. For example, uh, with Volumax, you can reach span 20 by 20 meter and we done a project uh, 20 by 20. It will be flexible for architect to have a, a free design. Also, it will be flexible in the job site and we will talk about job site later. Uh, this this slide I will just to uh, to give you idea the difference between a flat slab and different between a Volumax slab. Uh, the behavior for Volumax slab it's similar like behavior for flat slab normal. I just create the void where none work in concrete area, and uh, uh, some people they have misunderstand they, they think uh, uh, Volumax it works works some like a ruby slab, but it's wrong. Uh, uh, think because uh, when I created the void I I, I, I have here uh, the steel reinforcement seem like a top and bottom mesh not in rib slab uh, I created the void I reduce the slab self weight behavior seem like flat if flat slab I can have large span more than flat slab this first point and I can have slab self weight less than flat slab or solid slab also, total building, it will be uh, uh, the weight less than a solid or flat slab. Here, I'm going to explain the geometry for our product Volumax. Uh, Volumax, it will be a, like rectangular shape. And uh, the size, it will be 52 centimeter by 52 centimeter. But the height, it will be different in the design. Minimum slab thickness we can do it, it will be 24 centimeter because when created the void a 10 centimeter, we prefer to have upper and lower slab or upper and lower flange that will be 7 by 7. Also, we can use a, a single, uh, a single Volumax, it will be 10 or 13 or 16, or sometimes we can use double or triple for Volumax. This is the difference between the single single use or the double use we done the project it was triple because when i have span it more than 17 or 18 meter by uh, 20 like that and they have a huge load i want to be uh, have a slab like uh, 60 or 55 centimeters sometimes use double or triple or single here the the architect ad, uh, advantage for volumax as i mentioned before we have we will have large span less slab thickness, uh, we will have a, a height, uh, a clear a clear height floor because we don't have any drop panel. Uh, also, we will reduce the number of the column. When I reduce the total of the weight of the structure, I don't want to have every four meter or seven meter column. Uh, and when you see also, as you see here in the picture, we will don't put all the Volumax in the slab. We keep around the column solid for uh, some technical issue. I will come to speak uh, about it. Also for structural benefit, uh, our slab it will be work some like by by axial slab in two direction in X and in Y. Uh, reduce the slab self weight. This the reduce the weight and uh, less deformation because I have less quantity of the concrete or less the slab uh, reducing reduce reduce the foundation load or also less earthquake effect why less earthquake effect because the earthquake its function with the total mass of the structure 
when you use Volimax, you reduce the total mass of the structure. It means you reduce the earthquake force coming in this building. The costs uh, uh, benefit or advantage, it's first we will cost inside. Also, uh, it will be the cycle time for slab uh, 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 short than the cycle time for uh, uh, working in flat slab or solid slab. Less construction consumption, less steel consumption because we know, as we mentioned before, reduce slab self weight. Uh, also, easy material logistic and to reach into the job site uh, uh, for with Volimax. Okay, here the uh, main point to make this video for all of structural engineers in the world to show them uh, uh, the benefit for Volimax and uh, to give him short information about the benefit when you use Volimax in your project. But I know all engineers they asking how to design this body this lab because we use a CSI software or any software we don't see we can go inside and we see flat drop uh, boss tension but voided or volumax we didn't see to be honest as what we all the search in the world uh, with uh, SCI or CSI they didn't have chapter for voided slab in the code because it's just something the behavior, as I mentioned, it's flat slab. Just I created the void, and I want to show the software how to re to reading uh, 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 um, how to create equivalent section with uh, a Volimax with uh, um, a flat slab. Definitely, when I'm going to modeling uh, voided slab, we make model like as solid slab normal. We define the material as solid slab. We define the load pattern, load cases, load combination as flat slab. Even uh, in, when we work some like uh, um, uh, long term deflection, it will be some like a uh, flat slab. But I put void. I want to show the software. I put void. When I put void, I have the load reduction. I have the moment of inertia for Volimax, not same like moment of inertia for a flat slab. Also, the shear factor for Volimax, it will be not same like shear factor for a flat slab. I mix short symbol here uh, in uh, a project, it was the span 8x8, eight eight, and the slab thickness, it was 26 cm with Volimax. Here, you should understand the slab self weight for 26 solid, not same like slab self weight for 26 Volimax. Okay. If you can see the red color and yellow color, why I make red color and yellow color? I want to show you the AutoCAD file uh, to just to have it clear. Okay. It was the slab 8 meter by 8 meter and slab thickness was 26 centimeter. Okay. Uh, maybe you see in the picture we don't put uh, around the column uh, Volimax because it will be uh, uh, a huge shear and also one way and two way shear uh, also for bunching. Approximately the percentage for Volimax uh, in total area it will be around between 60 to 65 uh, percent with total area for Volimax. Okay, when I'm going to the software, I defined material like any material i'm using here sir c30 uh, i'm uh, for steel same for load buttering live dead super embodies for uh, load uh, load cases i have dead live super embodies uh, i have for the long term deflection it will be same like a uh, flat slab normal for load for load combination also the most important here the long term deflection also same like what the code mentioned uh, uh, for flat slabs and flat slab okay but when you i created the void i want to show the software if you come in red color this is the red color where i am putting voided slab yellow color where i keep it the solid the solid here in yellow color i didn't change anything from the parameter for or the factor for the slab but in red color i change a three factor let me just open the run. 
I change three factor. If you see, as I mentioned, when I created the void, okay, to just to make equivalent section for a, a voided slab in e tabs or in save. First, you can see this cross section. It's Volumax 52 by 52, and the rip it will be sometime 14, 15, 16, depend of the design. Okay, the moment of inertia for IC section not seem like moment of inertia uh, seem like a solid, full solid of the slab. And this one, uh, this I want to just to go back and to show you the first here. When I created the void, the moment of inertia not seem like when I have solid storage slab. This I want to do it here in the red color whereas I have the void as my AutoCAD or as the Volimax layout. You can see it will be this solid slab, this it will be a Volimax slab. And in, 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 in safe, as you see here, I just reduce the bending moment or the moment of inertia in 1-1, one, one, in 2-2, two, two, in 1-2. This number it's coming from where we from manual calculation or from loading test or from 3D final element we make it to reach this factor comparing with the flat slab. If you go to the website, uh, our website Volimax, and you will find our brochure Volimax slab system. If you go down here and you will see all type of the Volimax. If I have height uh, 16. A 10 or 13 or 16 or 20, 20, it will be double 10 by 10. And you can find all the parameter you needed to do the de design, your design. I change the bending moment. I change the shear factor. I change the weight here, the weight, it's meaning the reduced load reduction. Okay, short summary for design void and slab with final elements. It just we change the three factor. The first one, it's the the moment of inertia, because when created the void inside the slab, the moment of inertia not same like solid slab, as we see here in this picture, or in this cross section to be more clear, more for this the IC section for Volimax, and this the the full section with with flat slab or solid slab. Uh, the second factor, it's the shear factor. The shear factor, because uh, when I also I created the body, the shear capacity not seem like a uh, shear capacity for a uh, uh, solid slab. The, the last one, which, the, which the is an important one, the dead load reduction. Did load reduction, uh, it's, I created the void. Okay, I want to tell, to tell the software how much I remove this wood. This is the ratio between, seem like it is a Volimax slab 26, because this, my slab is 26 centimeter, with solid slab 26 centimeter. It's mean I have the, the weight here, or I reduce the slab itself, uh, the, the quantity of the concrete, around uh, let's say 30 34 or 32 percentage with volumax this is what we will do just what we will do and for to cal calculate this the 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 solid area around the column for bunching or for shear summary for what we say we have here like report we did with our team in volumax to just to show people how to design or also the benefit for Volimax. Uh, you can find this uh, uh, report, I will put it in the link under the video, uh, about the body slab and the dead load reduction, uh, the stiffness factor and the shear factor and also the Volimax uh, uh, designer. Uh, here, I just want to mention uh, uh, the point uh, when we designer uh, also it will be just to change the three factor as we mentioned stiffness factor the dead load reduction and the shear capacity for the volumax slab here for example for solid slab or flat slab normal slab it will be the bending moment it's one 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 i didn't change anything but when i came to make equivalent uh, dead road, uh, equivalent section for volumax with safe i will change this three factor 
and you can find three factor in our website if you just go to the google and to write volimax you will find or voided slab you can find our website all the technical data you will find there for design and you can make design and you can see the benefit by yourself for volimax also for to check the deflection when you choose the slab thickness you will choose the slab thickness same like a flat slab l by over l over uh, 30, uh, 300 or 320 as is i uh, called and you define the long term deflection as a, a, a flat slab normal uh, for punching or for shear here to to to, to find this the the area the yellow uh, uh, or the, the solid area this yellow color the size how to find it or how to calculate okay i have two type of shear i have one way shear and two way shear punching okay the first we assume in our case here in the slab eight by eight if you if you remember the shear capacity for uh, uh, Volimax it was 0.7 it's mean the capacity for Volimax slab 70 percentage capacity comparing with if with the flat slab and as ACI the the the, the shear it will be 0.75 uh, multiply uh, FC prime square root blah 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 this I will just multiply with my factor. For example, if I'm going to, to uh, I have the maximum shear here in the column around one or 200 kilonewton, but I will multiply this without my factor at 0.71. After that, after that, it will be both the solid or the, the volumax, volumax, uh, a slab like this what I did the red color and the yellow color usually it will be same like when you calculate the drop size if you go here to AutoCAD file to just to show to show you it will be like like that and to be also double check as my experience it will be the the uh, a percentage for Volimax in the slab around 65 to 70 to 70 uh, let's go back to the this the, the report you can find all of this I want to just to, to show the comparison when we was talking about span 8 by 8 the live load it was 3.5 uh, can you per meter square and the superimpose I think it was 2.5 let's check it was uh, 2.5 yeah right and uh, you can see Slab thickness for solid slab it was a uh, flat slab it was 28 centimeter but with volumax it was 26 centimeter and the slab self weight with uh, a solid slab it was 7 kN per meter square per meter uh, square and the slab thickness with volumax it was 5.7 it's mean i'm saving here 7 minus 5.732 I'm saving uh, around 1.26 kN per 1 meter square. This just only for one slab. Imagine if you have tower, some like 25 or 30 floor, and you slab, you, you, reduc you have reduction for some like that in the slab circuit, and you reflect this in the vertical element and in foundation, you will have a huge for saving of the quantity of the concrete, a huge for the saving the steel, money, time. You don't have any drop. You have a flexible uh, a designer for architect, a freedom to have a, a, a freedom for the, the uh, for the layout. Also for steel reinforcement, uh, steel reinforcement for the slab and the gravity. Also we have reduction. Find all the details about the uh, all the details for the design Volimax slab in this report. Also, if you go to the website, you will come find all the technical document, all the technical report from university or from the. Our Thank you, everyone, uh, and I will put all the report and all the document uh, under the video. If anyone have any technical question, you can write me in my email. Uh, I wish all the best for everyone in the world, and uh, anyone who need to make uh, any just value engineering with Volimax or to just to study, we can write me. I'm ready for any 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 question or any any thing or any comment also. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I wish all the best for everyone in the world. Thank you.